cancel culture won't just get you fired, it can get you injured or killed. My next guest was beaten by an Antifa mob while reporting on the lunatic group. His writing is apparently so controversial, a member of Mumford & Sons was canceled just for reading and praising it. The author has been boycotted at bookstores, and now he has to keep his location secret for fear of being tracked down. Joining me now to tell his story, the post-millennial editor-at-large and author of Unmasked, Inside Antifa's Radical Plan to Destroy Democracy, Andy No is here. Welcome, Andy. Hi, Kennedy. Uh, you and I are from the same town, Portland, Oregon, uh, which has been under attack by domestic terrorists who want to cancel the entire city. What have you seen on the front lines? So the, the subject of my book on mass is details the uh, siege that Portland and other cities have been under, particularly in 2020, but also the describing the, the groundwork for how that happened. I think that calling all this cancel culture, though, doesn't really go far enough to describe what's going on. We're really dealing with a political phenomenon where people want myself and, and others who do similar work to me to actually be dead. And I think you can look, for example, for how the hard left and even the mainstream left celebrated when Rush Limbaugh died. Um, they don't want to cancel us or silence us. They want to permanently uh, remove our ability to speak ever. Yes, it is a very drastic form of extermination, uh, the most drastic being death. And I think you're right. I think there are mobs, especially in Portland, who are hell-bent on that. And as you have pointed out, uh, they are not just walking in lockstep with BLM and social justice warriors. They simply take advantage of that. But what is the goal of this? I mean, if it's not cancellation, what is Antifa doing? Obviously, Nancy Pelosi is wrong. It's more than an idea. The goal is to destroy the United States. They view the American idea, the American philosophies, as racist, as uh, unreformable in need, in, in need of destruction and abolishment, which is what they say. There's a lot of meaning, obviously, behind things like burning flags, but they also pick their targets wisely, such as when they're targeting courthouses or police stations. Anything that represents um, American institutions, they go after. And so what's been very dis dispiriting to me is to see mainstream Democrats uh, in many ways lean in and sort of embrace a soft alliance with Antifa rather than recognizing them for the threat that they are to the Republic. How many times and how badly have you been attacked? I've been, I was beaten severely in 2019 uh, by a mob right in front of the central police uh, station and I was given a brain hemorrhage and I was lucky to survive that. Um, the month before that I was uh, blinded with a chemical spray. Um, they, they had given me a certain number of warnings that they were willing to escalate, but I never thought that they would actually attempt to kill me. Uh, I was naive uh, because they went on to kill. Last summer during the height of the riots in Portland, they hunted down a Trump supporter in downtown Portland. One of them shot him dead and then fled out of state before being killed by federal authorities. Yeah, and the mayor and the DA there aren't doing anything about that. That is not liberty. That is not freedom. That is not something to defend. And now they're going after a seminal bookstore in Portland called Powell's, uh, which, you know, Powell's celebrates books that have been banned. They still sell them. They will not put your book on their shelves for fear of having their stores burned down. Yeah, there's actually been violent protests outside the store uh, earlier this year, just ahead of the, the book's publication. And in some ways, I have sympathies for Powell's. They, they like all businesses uh, in America, are struggling from the economic devastation of COVID-19 policies. And just as they were beginning to reopen, they were hit with these protests that sometimes turn violent right at their business doorstep. Uh, it forced them to close on several occasions. It's, uh, it's really insane. Stay safe, uh, but stay vigilant. Keep reporting because people have to know about this. Andy No, thank you so much. My pleasure. All right, well, college campuses were once a bastion of free speech. Remember Berkeley in the city?